What's up everybody? Will here from the adventurousgentleman.com and today we are talking all about the diaper bag. Stay tuned. Now when I say diaper bag, it's not the kind you're thinking that you might find on the Babies R Us shelf. I'm talking about a bag I've set up specifically for myself and my needs for my family. And I find it to be far more effective than diaper bags you will usually find. Now, first of all, this is just a regular run-of-the-mill backpack I got from Eddie Bauer. It was like 50% off at some sale. And I like it because it had these little kind of moly type-ish set up here so I knew I could attach some things to it. And what I did was because it didn't have a chest clip, I took a replacement chest clip from Kafaru, ordered that put that on there so now it has a chest clip also it's got the big pockets for water bottles I've got my little guys water bottle in here a lot of times I'll put mine or maybe a baby bottle in there and then right here and this I find important if you're gonna try to set up your own diaper bag this is something I would highly recommend this is something I would highly recommend looking for and that's this front pocket my wife's is very similar except they have the pocket up here on the lid which is kind of better because it tends to be a bigger pocket. But nonetheless, what I like about this pocket is you can open it with one hand. You can have it stashed behind you in the car. Open it with one hand. Reach in. And what I store in here is the wipes. I can undo that, pop it open, throw it to whoever needs one, and we're good to go. So the easy access of that pocket is something I would highly recommend when you're checking out something like this to make your own diaper bag. Then... We've got the lid, big drawstring top, again, just ease of access, ease of opening, super nice to get into. And what I've done is, there's a company called Kafaru out of Colorado, and they make really, really awesome uh, backpack shelter stoves, and they make these things called pullouts, and they come in different, like a lightweight version, and they come in this version right here which I think is 500D or 1000D. I'm not sure, I'd have to check. But what I really like about them is I've color coded them all and I stack them in the bag based on how often they're used. So this green one here, it's gonna be set up for diapers because those are what's mostly used in a diaper bag. And I've got them separated into two different sizes because I've got two little boys. And then I carry, always carry a few extra Ziploc bags around just in case there's a mess and nowhere to put it. So that's how that one's set up. Then as we get a little deeper into the bag, this black one here, this is gonna be all the snacks. You don't want kids getting hungry when you're out there in the wild. So what we've got in there is just some of these little snack bowls, fill them up, chuck them in there. And sometimes those little like uh, RX bars, those can be a real crowd pleaser. Getting a little deeper into the bag. Got this little tan guy, and this is going to be all the sunscreen, some bug spray, some Bordeaux's butt paste. Really like that. Comes in the travel size. Very convenient, easy to use. It's stored right under the diapers, so I can grab that. Boom, it's out. Gray bag, toys. So you got some books, some toys, all that kind of stuff. Whatever your kids' favorite toys are, you can throw that in there. You're good to go. Then moving on near the bottom of the bag. This one's the biggest bag right here. And this is extra clothes. I know those of you out there with kids already know what it's like when you're out there and something happens to a kid's clothes and they have to wear it the rest of the day. This is a really easy way to carry, you know, an outfit around or two for the kids and have those in there. Really, it's nice. I mean, hopefully this is the least used bag. That's why it's on the bottom. But it's nice to have it nonetheless. So there we got clothes and if you're not a parent yet but you're looking and that's why you're watching the video trust me you'll know what that's like. Then we got just a little med kit here. Again I mean I guess this could be higher or side in the order or to the side or something but I'm really hoping this doesn't have to get used. Now the bag that's all the pullouts I got but another thing I like about this bag is it's got a laptop kind of pocket here area in the back and what I've done is I've stored, stored this really nice 
diaper changing pad. And this is actually from uh, Diaper Dudes. It came with a, one of those kind of satchel type bags I had from them, but honestly it ripped at the seams after uh, about six months or so in. So I went out and started doing this. But their mats are phenomenal. I actually really like this mat. It's got some cushioning, very comfortable. Really can't say enough about this mat. Been using this going on two and a half years. So really great mat. Then in the other side pocket, store a pacifier and just a little teething ring. And then on this other side pocket in here, got some boogie wipes and a spare bottle. Now you can customize it and set up however you want, but you can see that's super easy to get to. I'm not searching around for a bunch of stuff. And a lot of times I find when I'm out there and I need the diaper bag, it's usually kind of a little bit of a high pressure situation, whether the kid's crying or there's poop all over the place. It, it can be tough and the easier it is for you to use the tools you have, the better it's going to be in the long run. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any great stories of uh, emergency diaper changes or a fantastic setup for your diaper bag, please comment below. Until next time, live your life and God bless.